Corona Cartel, the leading living sire of stakes winners presents the ninth fastest qualifier, Elisa Secret. Through a series of circumstances, Elisa's secret was away from the races since last September. Well, we didn't get this filly till a couple months ago, and uh, we, did, we, we had a few issues. We just couldn't get her ready, and every time we'd, we'd want to do something, we should have a little issue, an abscess in the foot or a temperature, just little bitty stuff. But it was enough to prevent getting a prep race before the 440-yard trials. They're running. Slight stumble from Elisa's secret. Vancouver Moon came away fast, but just drifting for the outside fence and almost scrapes up against it. Vancouver Moon far side. Elisa's secret straightens out. Then it's point break dash. Back along the inside. Take me down and feature Mr. Perfect. Vancouver Moon, but very wide out. And here they come. Elisa's secret. Point break dash goes on by. Point break dash. Despite a fourth place finish, Elisa's secret makes the finals for owner Iris Alvarez. She got lucky. You know, we drew a good heat, good part of the day. We, we got really lucky, but uh, we'll take it. We're not going to take her out because she got lucky. The daughter of No Secrets here and the Corona Cartel mare, Ali Cartel, was bred by Don Apodaca. Her 2012 races were all pretty good and would seize a bright future. We don't know if she can win this thing. Where She probably, you know, is not as good as some horses, but she will improve. And uh, weirder things have happened, I'll say that. And no doubt will again.